the Grand Master of the State of Montana, J.R. Beeney. Those lights really are bright up here, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> As you say, I'm J.R. Beeney. I represent the Independent Order of Odd Fellows. I get the question, who are the Odd Fellows? <laughs> We're a non charity charity organization that seeks to promote the welfare of, of humankind in every community everywhere. Our local area, we've been here since before there was Lincoln County. Down there on Mineral Avenue, still have the same property, new building. The things that we do, just locally, we always love to give money out. Problem is, you gotta get money in somehow. So if you ever see me, we make cotton candy, every event we can. We give money to scholarships for students, love doing that. We also try to support anybody in our local community. Um, I think it was this spring, some lady <coughs> her jars and lost a $100 bill on her way out. Well, that was her money to feed her kids. We gave her another $100 bill, Th things like that. Um, if anybody's ever had to buy a new pair of glasses, you know how much that costs? We like to give money for that, for those things. So we try to find any way in our community to give more. Problem is, no one knows who we are. No one knows that we do these things. So I'm thankful for the Chamber to have this kind of event so we can come out and say, we have these facilities, we have these opportunities, but like any community, you hear of volunteers. We always need volunteers ourselves. We do other little projects for our community. If you ever go out to the uh, Farnham Market store, there's a sign that says there, we clean up the highway. Simple things like that make our community a better place. And that's what Odd Fellows are all about, is trying to improve the people, the place, and our community at large. And it's Independent Order of Odd Fellows, but it's a worldwide organization. There are lodges in Washington, Colorado, dozens of them. We sent, uh, I think it was five years ago, we sent a thousand dollars to some place, I can't pronounce the name, in the Philippines, so they can build a building for their community, their own little Odd Fellows place. So it's just not living. There's places in Thompson Falls, Missoula and Great Falls that also do these things. But it's, it's such an old organization that no one has ever figured out. A friend of mine was born in an Odd Fellows Hospital and never knew what the Odd Fellows were. So I'm out here to just kind of say, to basically have you ask me questions about what this is and how to help or how we can help you. We have a, a building down just two blocks away. It's got a full kitchen, small dining room, and a decent sized meeting room, though it could not fill even, I couldn't get half of you in there, but <laughs> we offer that. How many places in Libby have just a small little room that you could use for your community event? It's so nice to be here in the dome and see so many people. I've never seen this many people even for a good movie. <laughs> so I'd like to open it up just for any questions. Anybody who has any if, anything, question for me. Do you have any upcoming events? Currently we don't. Um, we try to get them out to the Chamber of Commerce when we do. We just finished up an event this last weekend, which would be our, our last event for this year. And then in spring, we start up with newer events in February. Are you all men? No, it's our actual local leader is a woman. So it's the name is fellow, but men, women, even kids, I'm trying to recruit a bunch of high school students to become members of our group now. And how do you, how do you find, or how do you go about becoming a member? 
Well, I don't, our Facebook page is in um, redevelopment right now, but uh, pack it with the phone number, we'll contact me directly and I can <coughs> send information as much as you want. Well, thank you very much.